Windows 11 Build 22000.194 is available on Beta Channel, in the Windows Insider program, and it is yet another minor update. Like the previous cumulative updates, today's patch also focuses on bug fixes and quality improvements, and you won't see any new features. But users will now have access to three new app updates. But before searching for the new updated apps, make sure to update your apps library from Microsoft Store. Otherwise you may not get the updated apps. This update is also available for unsupported devices in the dev channel, and it can be downloaded straight from the Windows update. This update comes with various bug fixes, and one important change that this build or newer builds now requires TPM 2.0, in virtual machines like Hyper-V Manager, and VMware as well. Previously created VMs, running Insider Preview Builds, may not update to the latest preview builds. Microsoft addressed an issue, where if you enable then disable a contrast theme, it would lead to artifacts in title bars, in some cases making the minimize, maximize, or close buttons hard to see and use. Microsoft also fixed a crash with certain connected devices, that could result in not being able to use Bluetooth. It also mitigated an issue, that was resulting in subtitles not appearing, when expected in certain apps, particularly Japanese language subtitles. An issue that causes PowerShell to create an infinite number of child directories is also fixed now. This issue occurs when you use the PowerShell move item command to move a directory to one of its children. As a result, the volume fills up and the system stops responding. Now let's have a look on updated apps in this new beta build. At the moment I must tell you that these apps, which are new in this beta build, has been already featured in old developer builds. The Snipping Tool app was first updated in build, 22000.132, and it looks exactly same as previous build. Another updated app is Calculator, and it's again the update from previous 22000.132 build. The Calculator app now has a beautiful new look for Windows 11. And beside these, the Calculator app is packed with useful features like, plotting and analyzing equations on a graph, and evaluating algebra, trigonometry, and complex mathematical expressions. Lastly you'll be able to see the new clock app, which was first featured in 22000.160 build. New clock app has new visuals, with focus sessions. You can now set your focus time, link it with Spotify, and go with your flow of work. Timer, alarm, stopwatch, and world clock are also present in this new app. So, that was it. If you want to have more info about this build, and want to know, known issues, a link to the blog has been mentioned in the video description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, for more updates, stay connected and have a great day.